So my name is Corey Orthman, and I'm a middle school teacher here at Delphian. I've been teaching here all told for 13 years. Um, so all over the world right now, children are at home and families are looking for some educational opportunities. And we are really excited to be able to share some of our courses that we use here at the school. Um, we use the curriculum of Heron Books, and we're gonna be starting today with a course called Learning Starts With You. Uh, this is a really important course because it teaches students about how they are actually in charge of their own educations. Um, we thought this was especially appropriate with the distance learning that we'll be doing here to help children and families see that uh, you're in charge of your education. Um, and we're just gonna jump right in. So this is the first of the courses that we'll be sharing with you free of charge. Um, you can go on heronbooks.com and I think all told there are 10 courses that you can download right now. At the end of the, after the webinar today, we'll be sharing an email with you that will tell you about all the courses you can download. Um, the further webinars we'll be doing and what courses we'll be covering uh, next week and in the future. And there's also gonna be a discount code in there. So for the other courses that we're not sharing free of charge, you'll be able to get a discount on those. So yeah, let's get started. What we're gonna do today is I first need you to, if you haven't already, you're gonna to wanna to download the course textbook, which looks like this and the learning guide. The learning guide is a series of steps that you can follow along at home. And as we do each step, you can get a pen or pencil and sign it off that you've done it. Uh, or if you want to, you can just have the, uh, you know, the PDFs up on your screen and you can just follow along. So each time that we are gonna be reading out of the textbook, I will bring it up on the screen like this and I will read out loud to you and you can follow along in your course textbook. Uh, if you have any questions as we are going along, there should be a button in the window that you can click on that says Q and A. Um, you can ask a question. If there's something in the textbook that I've read that you don't understand, feel free to ask a question and we will uh, work on answering those. And if you, uh, there's some steps where we're going, where uh, in the learning guide it says, tell your teacher. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is to type your answers into that Q and A uh, box, and then I'll read some of your answers here so we can have a little bit of back and forth. All right, let's jump into it. So the first chapter uh, that we're gonna read here on the learning guide, it says, chapter one, you're always learning. You've learned a lot in your life already. When you were younger, you learned how to walk and how to talk. When you got a little older, you learned how to read and write and spell. You probably learned how to sing. You might have learned how to dance. Maybe you learned how to play soccer or baseball or some other sport. You've learned a lot of other things as well, and you still learn new things each day. Learning new things all the time makes life more interesting and fun. But what happens when you grow up and finish school? Do you just stop learning? When you're done with school, you can just get a job, make money, and start living your grown-up life, right? Luckily, this is not true. There are always new things to learn, whether you're a baby, a child, a teenager, or an adult. Adults learn how to do their job or a new job. They learn how to be a good parent, how to coach soccer, how to build a tool shed, cook a meal for 30 people, get better laws made, or grow fresh vegetables. A grown-up has to be able to learn any new things he or she wants to do, and that might turn out to be a lot of things. All right, so that's the first thing that we're gonna read there in the learning guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign my initials on there, C-O, and you can do the same. All right, the next step is an activity. It says, go talk to a grown-up. Ask him or her to tell you about some of the things they learned since finishing school and how they learned those things. So grab a parent 
or any other adult you have around the house and ask them to tell you about some of the things they learned since finishing school and how they learned those things. And we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, once you've asked them, type your answer into the Q&A box and we will read some of those out loud. All right, and we're back. All right, so one of the answers here, uh, one of our viewers said that their parent learned stuff from work. <laughs> okay, this one says that their parent learned how to drive after leaving school. Uh, me too. I actually didn't learn to drive until after I graduated from high school. <laughs> uh, another answer here uh, from Karen, it says politics, how to help others effectively, self-defense, how to use herbs for medicine. That's really cool. This one says she learned um, she learned how to write songs and learned religious things after leaving school. Great. All right, well, thank you guys. We're gonna move on to the next step here. Okay, so we're gonna go to chapter two, learning on your own, the section, what is learning? Here we go. We all know what learning is, but let's look at it more closely. When you learn, you find out things. You add to what you know. For example, you can add more information. You can understand more about something. You can find out how to do something better, or you can find out how to do something completely new. All these things are learning because you are finding out things. You are adding to what you know. All right, so the next step, it says, make a list of five things you learned yesterday by adding to what you know. Uh, if you weren't uh, in school yesterday or you weren't doing any sort of learning activities yesterday, feel free to expand that to uh, the previous week or you know the last time you learned something. But I wanna hear a list of five things you learned yesterday by adding to what you know. Feel free to type those into the Q&A box. All right, I'm gonna start reading some of these as they come in. So there's some here that say, I learned how to play tetherball, how to type faster. I learned where the continents are from a map. I love maps. I learned how weird it is to be a homeschooler. <laughs> yeah, this is a, it's a pretty different experience for all of us, uh, teachers included. Um, the previous week, I learned a new math concept, how to set up a Google document landscape style, how to sew for art class, how to make a paper airplane, and the harmony of a song in choir. That is awesome. That's really awesome, Violet. Um, how to draw better. Uh, I learned how to set up a tent in the backyard. That's awesome. All right, thank you guys. All right. So next up, the next chapter section is what is learning on your own? Now let's look more closely at what learning on your own means. You can do something on your own when you can do it pretty well yourself so you don't have to have a lot of help from others. You can count on yourself to be able to do it instead of needing someone else to do it for you. Learning on your own means being able to understand and learn things yourself instead of needing someone else to tell you everything. You could have someone teach you something if you wanted, but you wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to because you would know how to find things out and learn things yourself, even harder things. When you are learning on your own, you are in charge of your own learning because you know how to do it well. Learning on your own doesn't mean you're learning things all by yourself. You can learn things from other people or learn things along with other people and still be learning on your own. Why? Because even though you're with other people, 
you're still the one making sure you learn things. Learning on your own means you're the one who's making your learning happen. All right, so the next activity, it says show your teacher what learning on your own means. Then tell your teacher some things you have learned on your own. So that last section there where it said what learning on your own really means, tell a grown up in the room what that means to you, what your understanding of it is. And then in the Q&A box, uh, type some uh, ideas of some things that you have learned on your own. And I'll read them out. All right, I'm gonna read some of these that are coming in. So this person said, Martha says, I learned how to bake a cake by myself. Lila says, I learned that worms want to get out of water so they don't drown. <laughs> I learned about dividing by 15. I learned how to spread peanut butter when it is hard. I learned more about my school play. Uh, and I learned about my printer, awesome. Uh, Karen says, I learned how to spell surprise. Yeah, that has a, a silent R in it, so that can be tough. Um, one attendee says, I learned how to play video games. I'm sure there's a lot of that going on at home right now, overall. <laughs> um, uh, Molly says, I learned how to make food on my own. That's awesome. And another attendee says, I learned how to fix my printer for the geography fair. So awesome. All right, we're gonna move on to the next section. And this one's called, Why Learn on Your Own? People who can do a good job learning on their own can really move along and get a lot done. They can learn a lot they can find out what they want to know. They can learn to do new things. They'll end up knowing lots of things and being able to do a lot of things well. As you grow up, one of the things you will be getting better and better at is learning on your own. You'll be doing this gradually, a bit at a time. You'll have the chance for plenty of practice as you continue along in school and outside of school. By the time you finish school, you'll be able to learn just about anything you want to on your own even things that are quite hard. Some people can do many things very well. Can you think of someone like that? When you can learn on your own, you can learn to do many things very well also. All right. So the next activity, it says make a list of 10 or more things you would like to learn to do in your life, either now or later. So these could be things, I mean, especially since everybody's at home right now, these could be things that you could be taking the opportunity to uh, all this extra time that you have. What are some things that you'd like to learn to do? These could also be things that you could be learning to do later in life because uh, maybe since you're not a grown up yet, like driving a car uh, or you know certain jobs, you just can't do them yet. Um, you can do either one. So go ahead and type those into the Q&A box. I'm gonna start reading some of these out loud. Hartley says, I learned how to do a wheelie. That's awesome. Young Ju says, I learned how to play more fairly with my sisters. Yeah, we're all spending a lot of time at home with siblings that we're gonna to have to uh, get along with. <laughs> Kelly says, be an inventor, build a tree house. That is awesome. Uh, another attendee says, learn how to code. Very cool. Kelly also says, I want to learn to drive a car. Great. Molly says, uh, how to skateboard better. Young Ju says, I want to learn how to become a veterinarian. That's amazing. That's awesome. Another attendee says, do more cool stuff on the computer. Very cool. Keith has an interesting one. He says, 
learn how to make something levitate as an optical illusion. That's really cool. Our science lab teacher, Marty, he has an optical illusion on his desk where it makes it look like a pig is levitating. So that's pretty cool. Violet says, I want to learn to drive, become a better singer, a better artist, friend, or learn to pay bills for a house. That's important. Uh, care for all types of animals, teach somebody else a skill, be a better chef, graduate high school on the honor roll. Very cool. Dominique says, uh, do animal surgery. Very cool. All right. So I'm gonna move on to the next section. This is gonna be in chapter three. All right, chapter three, different ways to learn. When you learn, you add to what you know. You can add facts like adding to your knowledge of dinosaurs. You can get more understanding like understanding better why your friend likes spiders so much. <laughs> you can get better at something you can already do like getting better at reading, spelling, math, or drawing. You can learn something suddenly. For example, you can eat some rotten food and suddenly learn that eating rotten food can make you sick. Or you can learn something over a long period of time like how to be an expert at chess. All these things are learning. There are many, many ways to learn things. Let's talk about some of them. Looking. Have you ever looked at something and found things you hadn't seen before? You can add a lot to what you know just by noticing things and seeing what they are about. Learning by looking at things and watching other people do things is one of the best ways to learn. All right, so for this activity, we'll pause for a second because you're actually going to walk around the house and find something you don't know much about. Look at it to learn some things about it that you didn't notice before. When you're done, write down several things you learned about it. So I'll give you a few minutes to walk around and find something that you don't know much about. If I was gonna walk around in here, I might grab that dragon up there or one of these sculptures, but it's gonna be something that you don't already know much about. Look at it to learn some things about it that you didn't notice before, and then type them into the Q&A box. I will see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna start reading some of these answers here. Kelly says, I found a pear in the fruit bowl. It has little dots on it, great. Uh, another attendee says, I found a heater, I touched it and it hurt a little bit, sad. <laughs> so be careful while you're doing these activities, of course. Um, Lila says, I looked at my brother's guitar and learned that the pegs at the top turn and that the sound is louder when you play the strings over the hole. That is really awesome. Uh, all my brothers play guitar, so that's something they all know. I'm, not, I'm the only one that doesn't. Um, Kelly also says, I found a chair and realized you can fold it up. Awesome. And there's also, I found a tool that has a screwdriver inside. Oh yeah, like one of the ones that you unscrew and it has more tools. That's great. Violet says, a plant that looks like a bamboo plant, a projector, a peanut butter jar, and a first aid kit. Great. Uh, Dominique says, I looked at a chimp painting in my room and I learned I got it from an artist for my, for my first birthday. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, Keith says, he learned that you can sew in many different patterns. Great. Uh, Deep T says, I never noticed a decorative ceramic plate. It has a detailed parrot painted on it. That's really cool. Hartley says, I found a stuffed live duckling. It is very fragile. It was probably about two months old um, when it died. The piece of wood that it is on is 26 years old based on the rings. Oh, wow. So you counted all the rings and saw how old the wood is. That's really awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, we're gonna move on to the next step here. The next section is called Other People.
You can learn by being told about things and by reading about things. Other people have learned many things and they can share what they've learned with you. They can share what they've learned by telling you or by writing things you can read. Having other people share things they've learned is another great way to learn. Okay, so for this next activity, make a list of five things you have learned from other people, either by them telling you or by reading what they wrote. So go ahead and uh, this is just things that you've, you've learned from other people or it could be somebody with you in the room right now. So go ahead and type those answers in. All right, I'll read some of these as they come in. Molly says that she learned chess from other people and drawing. Violet says, my grandmother taught me to embroider with a hoop. My mom taught me origami. My dad taught me real estate tips. I haven't used them yet. <laughs> um, Kelly also says, I learned from Brooklyn how to climb a tree. That's awesome. Keith says, magic, how to code, how to walk, how to swim. Great. Young Ju says, I learned from my younger sister that roller blades have the brakes on the back and roller skates have the brakes on the front. That is a very important distinction. Martha says that she learned from other people how to read. Uh, Kelly says, I learned from my grandpa how to shoot a gun. Dominique says that she learned fishing, counting money. <laughs> also, I'm Amelia, my dad is Dom. Okay, hi, Amelia. <laughs> Uh, Karen says, how to cut a carrot, how to cut an apple, how to make an electrical circuit. Michael says, how to ride my bike, that octopi, plural of octopus, have no bones in chess. Adeline says, how to climb a tree, how to bake, how to jump farther, how to run faster. Lila says, my teacher taught me how to play the piano. My mom taught me to cook eggs. A friend taught me how to make a paper, plan, a paper phone. I learned to dance from my dance teachers. I learned to pitch from my pitching coach. Very cool, guys. All right. Signing that one off. The next section is called Using What You Already Know. You can learn by using what you already know to figure out something that you don't know. Let's say you knew how to find a word in a dictionary, but not in an encyclopedia. Using what you know about finding words in a dictionary, you figure out yourself how to find things in an encyclopedia. Using what you already know to figure out something you don't know is a fun way to learn things. Okay, so for the next activity, uh, type in the Q&A box a time that you learned something by using what you already knew to figure out something new. Uh, then ask a grown-up in the room to tell you a time they learned something by using what they already knew to figure out something that they didn't know. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'm gonna read some of the answers coming in. I already learned to sew when I was younger and it made sewing for an art project at school easier. Awesome. I learned a trick with division from what I already knew. Yeah, a lot of math builds on itself. So once you learn something with multiplication or division, you can usually then use that for later skills. That's great. Oh yeah, Keith also says using multiplication to figure out division, great. Adeline says, I can ride a bike, so I use that to help me learn to ride a longboard and a skateboard. Very cool. Martha says, I learned adding, and then I learned regrouping. Good. Karen says, I learned how to skate backwards from learning to skate forwards. My mom learned how to ride cars from... Um, from learning how to ride go-karts. Okay, I get it. So you learned how to ride a go-kart first and then moved up to actually driving cars. That's awesome. 
I learned how to do a flip on the trampoline by knowing how to do a somersault. That's a great point. <laughs> All right, good. The next section is called trying things. Sometimes you can learn things just by trying it out. Let's say you want to learn to ride a horse, but you're a little scared. By trying it out, you might learn that it's not as hard as you thought. Sometimes there's a better way to do something you already know how to do. By trying the new way, you learn something. Some people never learn certain things because they never even try. Okay, so for the next activity, this one is going to be a little bit longer. So we're gonna pause for a second after this one. So first, make a list of three or more things you would like to learn by trying them out. Go over the list with the grown-up that's with you and decide on one to try. See what you can learn about it by trying it out and then uh, tell the grown-up with you and then type in the Q&A box what you learned. So try to find something around the house that won't take too long. If you pick uh, disassemble and reassemble a car's engine, we are not going to have time for that today. But if there's maybe something around the house that you would just like to try, um, maybe there is a, a kitchen tool in the kitchen that you've seen um, your parent use before, but you've never actually tried to use it yourself. Uh, maybe there's you know, some food in the fridge that you maybe always thought was too spicy and you didn't want to try it, but maybe you're willing to give it a shot today. Um, make, a, make a short list. It could just be like, you could just make a list out loud if you wanted to. Um, go over that really quickly with your parents or the grown-up with you and try one out and tell us what happened. We're going to pause for a few minutes to give you time to do this. So go ahead. All right, hi again. Uh, if you're not done doing whatever you were gonna try doing, that's okay. We're just gonna read one more section and I'm gonna start you on one more activity and that's all we're gonna have time for today. Uh, and then I'm gonna give you a little assignment to do after we end off. All right, I'm gonna read a few of these. Um, I never ate a lemon plain. It's actually not that bad, just sour. A little sweet, but sour. <laughs> Great. Um, I wanted to try to dust the piano without making any noise. So I tried it and it was easy. Good job. Also, I've never tried a hula hoop or pottery. All right, awesome. I learned to always shave the pencil to where it is like the end of a spear. And when you're cutting, don't cut towards you and cut away from you. That's a really good point, especially if it's like a like one of the you know pencils used for carpentry and stuff, you gotta cut away from you. It's really important. I learned how to use a cheese grater. It has different sizes and it is very messy. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, as a grown-up, I still make a huge mess whenever I use the cheese grater. <laughs> I learned how to perfectly ride a hoverboard backwards as if I was going forward. Good job. That was fast. We only stopped for like three minutes. Well done. <laughs> All right, good. So I'm going to read one more section. And this is called doing things. You can learn a lot by doing things, even things you've never done. For example, if you're trying to understand how paper is made, you would learn quite a bit about it by making some paper yourself. When you practice something, you learn by doing it over and over. The more you do it, the more you learn about it. All right, so for the last activity here, with your grown-up that's with you, think of something you could learn about by doing some of it. Then go do it. 
When you are done, tell your grown up what you learned from doing it. So here I want you to pick something that's actually gonna take you a little bit more time. Um, you've got the whole afternoon uh, ahead of you on, uh, here at least in Oregon, it's a really nice day. So if you can go out in your yard or, uh, you know, do something a little bit bigger, try to think of something that you'll maybe challenge yourself a little bit. So go do some of it. And when you're done, uh, tell your grown up what you learned from doing it. After that, uh, what I'd like you all to do, if you have the time, is what we do here at Delphi, Delphian, is we will give students what's called a target. I want you to, on your own, because we're learning about studying on your own, to try to complete the rest of this page. Actually, let's get to the end of section C here. If you turn the page on page four, you see where uh, D starts, skills. Let's get down to the end of step 17. There is one last activity here. So we're gonna mark that there, but that's our goal that we're gonna try to get to by the end of the weekend because our next webinar, part two of this webinar is going to be on Monday at 12.30. So I want you to do the rest of this page and down through step 17 on your own. You can write down just like on a sheet of lined paper or write down in your computer what you did for those steps. And when we come back on Monday at 12.30, we will finish up those steps together. And do look out for that email that we're gonna send where we'll be talking about the other courses that you can download for free. And it's also gonna have a discount code in there for, uh, if you wanna look on heronbooks.com for other courses beyond those 10, the discount code should apply to all of those. So thank you all for tuning in today. Uh, feel free to, also you can email us uh, what you wrote up for your activities and you can email it to us at events at delphian.org. That's E-V-E-N-T-S, events at delphian.org. We would love to read what you guys did for your activities for the rest of the day and over the weekend. So thank you for tuning in. I've had a lot of fun doing this today too. This has been a new activity for us at Delphian and we're looking forward to doing a lot more. So have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.